girl hey welcome to my channel my name is Paige and today I'm gonna to be sharing my refresh of my entryway table area this is an area that is kind of look the same it does change seasonally after Christmas I kind of never like put anything else back there so it's been looking super bare but today I'm gonna to take you along with the process of changing everything out um, if you have any questions about where anything is from I will do my best to say that down below a lot of things came from like Ross and TJ Maxx and places like that so I won't really be able to link anything but I'll let you know where things come from so those two prints I'll actually be using in another room in our home I get a lot of questions about what I do with decor I'm no longer using well Actually, I do still use it. I just move it around um, or I store it. And a lot of times I like to shop my house before I actually go out and buy anything. Um, but this mirror right here was where my inspiration started. And my husband actually went ahead and put in a screw the night before so that it would be easier for me to, <laughs> to get all this put together. But I had seen a photo on Pinterest. I absolutely love um, pulling inspiration from Pinterest and it had the circular mirror above this entryway table and I love the simplicity of it. I love that mirrors, you know, reflect light. They make rooms appear bigger. So I knew I wanted a mirror over here and I thought a round one would be perfect. Um, so I went back and forth with brass, well, bronzy or black and I finally decided to go with black. So here are some of the things I just collected over the last few weeks. Um, most of them I think were from Ross, a few were from Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, but I like getting things discounted. <laughs> I'm so cheap, so I have been waiting it out to try to make sure that I get exactly what I wanted. All of these lamb's ear um, stems came from Hobby Lobby and I got them when they were on sale. They go on sale like every other week, all their floral stuff. And the vase itself that it's going into, that's from TJ Maxx. And I want to say that was like seven or eight books. And I like the fact that it's clear, but because it's got that smokiness to it, I felt like it just gave that area something different. <laughs> I feel like my style has evolved a lot over the last few months and something that I wanted to create in my space is less clutter filled areas. So I knew I wanted pieces that were going to make a bigger statement so that I wouldn't have to put so many, you know, smaller items here and there. And I knew that I wanted a pretty substantially sized vase with very full um, greenery this lamp absolutely love it if you have been watching some of my shopping vlogs you know this is a different lamp <laughs> the lamp that I initially got I actually decided to go into Cody's room um, and you guys will see that in the next week I'm gonna put that video out very soon um, but I absolutely fell in love with this lamp and couldn't leave it I mean it was the same price as what I paid for the Walmart lamp um, and I just love the fact that it had like this Aztec vibe going on but because it was a gray lamp I didn't want to just put a gray lamp on a gray table so I separated it with those books and um, turned them around so that you could see the pages of the book so it was a nice little you know a pop of that beigey white color just to break things up and just to add some gold because I'm doing mixed metals in our living room space um, wanted to put that um, brass looking sphere there and um, I also as you'll see I put a little bit of like that aged silver pewter looking color on the bottom because I'm trying to just make sure that I'm putting all of my things together so it wasn't just gold over there. that I move some things around quite a bit and I always step back to see what it looks like. Um, I don't know. I know that I'm not the only one that does that, but just stepping back to see it, how, how everything looks together uh, is definitely very, very helpful. And I knew that that wood slice was not getting it, but these candlesticks were actually on our, um, what is it? Uh, <laughs> entertainment center. What could I think of what that was? On our entertainment center. And I knew I wanted to switch them out because I wanted that silver color over there. So like I said, I will shop my house uh, before I go out and look for anything. So a little tip, when you go out and you see something that might be a little damaged, even if it, you know, it's not gonna have anything to do with what you're using it for, I knew I wanted a blanket to go inside of a basket, so it really didn't 
matter if it was damaged or not. So I seen this blanket at Ross and I noticed that it had a few of the, like the knitting was kind of pulled apart, which didn't matter to me because it was going to be crammed in this basket, but I was able to get a discount on it because it was slightly damaged. So always make sure to look over your things before you pay for them. But I knew that I wanted something cozy over there. Uh, and I knew this was going to be perfect for that. I love the fact that this blanket has a blend of grays and whites in it. But I have to make sure that I don't leave this hanging on the floor. Because our robot vacuum cleaner will suck it up <laughs> and just drag it all around the floor. But as you see, once again, I will move things around at first. I really like the way that this looked over there by itself. But then I felt as if that bottom shelf needed green. Which is when I pulled back out that half vase half wicker basket thing and put that down there just to balance out the green on the table so here I am just sort of giving it an overview of what everything looks like I rearranged those stems I couldn't even tell you how many times and I'm so bad for leaving tags and stuff on so I did finally take the tag off of the lamp and the plastic off the shade I am so terrible when it comes to stuff like that just refreshing your memory of what it kind of looked like before. Like I said, I hadn't really done anything to it since after Christmas. But here is what it looks like now after I've made all of the changes. I absolutely love it. I think it has sort of a modern comfy feeling to it. I don't know. Maybe Aztec, Bohemian, comfortable, uh, mid-century modern. I don't know. Y'all, I literally feel like I'm just one big ball of everything. So I've always kind of labeled it as um, eclectic. I don't know. I have no idea how I would label my style, but this is what I ended up with. I absolutely love it. It's exactly the way that I wanted it. And now I'm going to have to finish off our bookshelves on our entertainment center. And um, hopefully that turns out as good as this did because I absolutely love the way this turned out. If you love it and you just love the way it turned out, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing before you leave. I hope you all have a beautiful and blessed day, y'all. Bye! My confession, so far away, but my tongue could slip.